these mega tsunamis that obliterate the coastal regions. We've even seen this when gigantic earthquakes have occurred on Earth. Much of the damage has been from the tsunami, not from the rumbling around of the Earth's crust. Earth cannot defy the impact odds forever. So special technologies are being developed to prevent a cosmic collision. My favorite is what we call the gravity tractor. We simply park a spacecraft next to the asteroid, use the mutual gravity between the spacecraft and the asteroid to tow and tug the asteroid slowly off course over time, causing it to miss the Earth. Like any natural disaster, the key to mounting a counterattack is lead time, which could take years or decades. And there are millions of hazardous asteroids that have not yet been detected. We should be developing the technologies now to go to asteroids, understand their makeup, understand what it takes to deflect them so we can prevent a catastrophic collision in the future. The future of our planet is far from safe. If we don't heed the warnings, a cosmic rock could become the space weather that ultimately snuffs out the human race. Today's forecast calls for a high of 900 degrees, a steady rain of sulfuric acid, and an atmospheric pressure high enough to crush your bones. It sounds like hell on Earth, but it's just another day on the planet Venus. Scientists warn that the weather on Venus is a sneak preview of the future on Earth. Eventually, the Earth will experience a runaway greenhouse. It is just a matter of time. What would happen if Earth had to face this fate tomorrow? We would be in deep trouble. We would be fried to a crisp and crushed beyond belief. Earth is just one kind of weather. On other planets, there are storms beyond the imagination. Climates and conditions that we hope to never see on Earth. But could they happen here? And if so, could we survive deadliest space weather? Imagine waking up one morning to a very different Earth. Our weather has been replaced by some of the hellish weather from Venus. It's not a pretty picture. In fact, as far as life is concerned, it's the end of the world. Our lakes and oceans boil and evaporate. Our cities collapse into blazing infernos. Our monuments dissolve in a torrent of sulfuric acid. If the weather on Venus were to suddenly descend onto the planet Earth, it would, uh, well, it would be a bad day. Venus-like weather on Earth may seem unthinkable, but in fact, most scientists believe that it's inevitable. So they're struggling to understand how things on Venus went so disastrously wrong. It's kind of a sobering, advanced look at what the weather over the really long term is going to be on Earth. To understand how the weather on Earth could spiral into what scientists call a runaway greenhouse effect, we need to understand how a runaway greenhouse already happened to Venus, a planet that started out a lot like Earth. Venus is the second